Okay, we're heading into Santa Rosalia. Sunken shrimper boat looks like inside the breakwater of the marina. Sitting here, man, by the looks of it, it's been on there for a decade. A decade. At least. Holy cow. This is submerged concrete sitting underneath the water two feet below the surface at low tide. It would totally destroy your boat. There's somebody's obstacle. I've got hazards sitting here in the middle of the anchorage. All kinds of trash floating around in here. There's another submerged something right there, two feet below the surface of the water. So here's another massive concrete block, one foot below the surface of the water at low tide. At least there's a little light, looks like. A little light to mark it. Look at that. Looks like you hit that. This anchorage is just not that impressive, if you ask me. There's the sunken boat in the background over there where Sean and Heather's book indicates that there's a dock, but there's no dock. It is just a sunken boat, and that breakwater is in pretty bad shape. It looks beat up. Anyway, I'm gonna go over here and get some fuel at the fuel dock. Fuel dock is just right over there on the other side of that uh, finger. This young man has come over, swam over to our boat and asked us for food and water. And we were just getting into our dinghy, so we're gonna take him to shore and buy him lunch. Thank you. Baja Jigs, great place to come in. They've got fishing gear, they've got hardware supplies, and everybody in here is super friendly, huh? -huh. It's so pretty. It's sparkly. Ooh, and it's really hot. Oh my goodness, really hot sand. It probably looks like we just came in from swimming, but no. This is just us hanging out on the boat and come back from town yeah. <laughs> is a, a little warm today just just a little poquito it's 85 degrees 70 percent humidity inside the boat yeah inside the boat and it looks like like fog is coming in it's at almost two o'clock in the afternoon and it's just misty out there like like it isn't done so we're getting in more moisture excellent because it's not quite hot enough because it started out at 60 percent this morning 70 now, who knows what it'll end up being this afternoon when it finally gets hot. So fun, you salty person. Anyway, fun times. We've got 200 feet of chain that we get to hand crank in right now because we could not hold in Santa Rosalia. It's terrible holding here. We kept dragging, so we kept putting out more chain, and you know what, to be honest with you, it never actually held. So we were on watch for high winds. Ready? If we go forward, I'm gonna go turn the engine on. Shortcut. Okay, I think I don't do, no, I know, I don't do well in the heat at all. Not well, I feel like I'm gonna pass out. From now on, we gotta leave first thing in the morning or we don't leave at all. Whew, this is hard work, boat life, goodness. Here's the last 40 feet going in. We take turns, pop each other out, reeling this thing in. 40 feet, he gets 40 feet, I go back 40 feet, he gets 40 feet, whatever. He does most of the work though. You want a headset? So now I gotta watch the position as we drag in that last 40 feet, obviously. We don't wanna start dragging. And we got two sails up, which is our 
new normal, Mizzen in the main. And uh, before we leave Anchorage, it's uh, amazing how once it was so scary and now it's like, okay, that's what we do. <laughs> Obviously that's the way everything is in life, right? You, there's always a first time for everything and it often can be scary and then suddenly you get it. But man, whew, it is hot, 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 hot. Oh, I gotta get him a headset, oops. Okay, okay, get it. Okay, I'm gonna idle this forward, idling forward. Where's our destination? Okay, Sweet Pea Cove, here we come. We were supposed to have like 15 knots of wind today, which is why we waited for the afternoon to leave, and uh, we have like maybe six knots. We're going between a knot and a knot and a half with three sails out. It's slow going, but man, are there swells out here. Goodness gracious. The white caps are from the, roll, the rolling waves, not from wind, which is what we thought we were gonna see out here. We're picking up here, we got almost 11 knots of wind and finally going almost three knots. that in there. That's neat. I guess I'm no longer needed. My husband the sewer. I'm a seamstress. You're a seamster. <laughs> Good job, babe. I think we have just about everybody in the neighborhood coming over today to Blue Pearl for happy hour. Awesome. <laughs> I can't see you. Can you scoot over a little bit more? There you go. Oh. All right, you guys, we got everybody in there. Awesome. Okay, cheers, guys. Cheers, Thanks for coming to Blue Pearl. This is beautiful. It is so lovely to be here instead of Santa Rosalia to watch these sunsets, which we didn't get in Santa Rosalia. Was, I guess we were too close to the mountains. And what a lovely night we had tonight with all of our neighbors. Yeah, it's a lovely evening. Thank you all. It's a really windy day today, and uh, because of that, the swells have really kicked up. We haven't had any swells this entire time. Um, but today is pretty bad. Our uh, boarding ladder is in the water. Wow. Um, we're rocking and rolling. Oh my gosh. Nothing we haven't experienced many times before, but uh, it's much more pleasant when the boat isn't rocking. Anyway, we've spent a quiet day around the boat. Got some things done, doing some research for uh, stuff we need to get done when we haul out. Yeah. And I edited a video. Tomorrow we're hoping to do some snorkeling or diving and um, our first time out, maybe spearfishing. Clams and scallops with pasta. Fresh from the sea. Heading out to do some uh, spearfishing. At least we're gonna, at least we're gonna try anyway. Sarah, uh, Nikki guy has invited us to go with her. So we're gonna go pick her up right now. And uh, she's got the spear guns. We don't have one yet. Looks like we're getting the neighborhood together. We're all gonna meet over there in our dinghies to do some snorkeling and uh, spearfishing. It should be fun.
<laughs> what a blast. Man, we just snorkeled in what? Four different spots. Just incredible. Really, really fun. Water was a bit rough in some of the areas, but it was a blast. It was just amazing what's under this beautiful ocean. And uh, we got some goodies for tonight. I think we're gonna have a little seafood fest with the gang here in the neighborhood. Um, everyone's gonna provide a little something that we that we picked up today. So that'll be fun. Ooh, pretty. <laughs> neighborhood barbecue, slightly different when you live on a boat. We're having ceviche and uh, oyster shells. The oyster shells that the oyster came in. Is that the oyster? <laughs> this is perfect. Nothing better. <laughs> Looks delicious, Michael. Good catch. Perfect. Yeah. Is this cooked very quickly? Yeah. 